Hello, welcome to this Lead Forensics educational video, elevating your marketing and sales success. Educational insights brought to you by marketing and sales leaders. In this video, I'll be talking about the five up and coming B2B sales techniques that you need to master. Business priorities change, but one thing remains constant. We always need to grow our client base through an effective business to business sales strategy. But consistently producing the results your business needs to grow is not easy. If anything, it becomes steadily more difficult as the world of B2B sales evolves and the buyer journey becomes more complex. Sales teams need to move with the times too. Discover these five sales techniques to bring you a sales success. Number one, social selling. So 57% of business to business buyers now use social media to research vendors. So incorporating social media into business to business sales strategy is a really good thing to consider doing. Social selling makes use of social platforms to identify new prospects and nurture them through the buying journey. This is a more convenient point of contact for the decision maker and a way to passively digest information. Social selling is about creating a personal one-on-one -on -one connection with your prospect. This may seem time consuming, but it's no more so than sending an email or searching for data. Your perseverance will definitely pay off over time. So those using social selling as part of their strategy have a sales pipeline that's 18% bigger than those who don't. Number two is referral networking. So referrals are a business to business sales team's dream. Nine out of 10 purchasing decisions are based on peer recommendations. So referrals are like gold dust, but many of us are, are too scared to ask for them. We worry that we'll put our sort of new client in an awkward position. However, this absolutely is not the case. 91% of business to business buyers said they'd be happy to provide referrals for a product that they think is good and have gained a return on investment from. Yet only 11% of salespeople actively ask for referrals. So get there first, give them a call and ask outright whether or not that they refer someone. If you built good rapport and the customer sees value from your offering, asking for referrals should be an easy process. Number three is the challenger sale. So this is a new sales technique based on the best-selling book from Matthew Dixon and Brent Adamson. They believe that in business-to-business -business sales, there are six distinctive personalities. So their study showed that more than 50% of the highest performing salespeople across 90 organizations were challengers. So challengers are naturals at debating. The aim isn't to sell prospects in addition to their current process, it is to encourage the prospect to incorporate your product around their existing process. So the salesperson joint venture sells by understanding the prospect's current situation and comes to a mutual agreement in how their product or service can benefit the customer's business. Number four is spin selling. So this has been around for a while, but it's imperative to the sales process. Spin selling focuses on questions you could use to qualify your new sales leads. S stands for situation questions. So ask about the prospect's current situation to help you better understand their motives around your product. Your team can then tailor their offering to meet the prospect's current business needs. So P stands for problem questions. This is all about highlighting the customer's problems and helping them identify their business's weaknesses and their hindrances. So this will help your team drive the sale forward as you can talk about how your solution can help solve these specific problems. I stands for implication questions. So talk in detail about the possible impacts these problems could have on the customer's business if unresolved. This will help you to establish a sense of urgency and credence in your solution as the customer sees the importance of taking action now. And N stands for needs payoff questions, helping the customer understand how valuable a solution could be for their business. This is where your team maximize on those client success stories and key benefits. Using spin, as the backbone of your sales qualifying approach gives your team a great chance of success. The situation element is without doubt the most important element. Until you know what your customer is buying, you don't know what you're selling. Number five is warm calling. So we're all familiar with cold calling, but questions continually arise around its attraction to a modern day audience. So the phone remains absolutely the most common and effective tool in the eyes of business to business salespeople, but the best way to make impactful contact isn't to call them when they're cold. So you know, calling new prospects in response to interest shown is an incredible way to generate new sales leads and keep your product front of mind. But what better way to conduct a warm call strategy than by contacting the businesses that actually hit your website? So they already have an interest in your product, and they're in the market for a solution like yours. For an exceptional warm calling approach, 
you need lead forensics. So our groundbreaking software identifies the businesses visiting your website in real time. And it provides contact details for decision makers and a breakdown of the time that they've spent on your website and the pages they've visited. So this warm calling approach has seen outbound sales success increase from 2% on a cold call to 40% with lead forensics. So discover the power of lead forensics and book your free demo today. Um, I really hope you found uh, this video useful. Please give this video a like, uh, share and, and comment on any future topics that you want us to cover. Make sure you follow us on all of our social media platforms as at lead forensics on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. I'll see you next time.